Hi, I'm Brad from What The Tech. Let's talk about warranties, specifically whether or not you should buy a warranty that covers accidental damage. When it comes to extended warranties, there are two primary types. One extends the warranty for manufacturer's defects. That could be a hard drive stopping or button stop working and the keyboard doesn't work correctly. The other type of warranty is an extended warranty that covers accidental damage. That's things that you do to your device that you would like to get the device repaired or replaced for. Now, when people think about warranties, they tend to fall into one of two camps. One camp wouldn't be caught dead buying a warranty for any reason on any of their devices. And the other camp couldn't conceive of not buying a warranty to protect their expensive new technology from any catastrophic damage that could happen to it. I think the situation is a little more nuanced and I've come up with five questions to consider when deciding whether or not buying an extended warranty that covers accidental damage is the right choice for you. To make it easier to follow along with these five questions, I'm going to be comparing a base iPad that costs $329 with a high-end iPad Pro that costs $1,649. I'll be comparing the cost of these devices along with the costs of their extended warranties to determine which one, if any, is better to get an extended warranty on. Question one, how much does the extended warranty cost in comparison to the device? Most extended warranties also have service fees. That's a cost you have to pay to get the device repaired or replaced once it's been damaged. My general rule of thumb is to not spend more than 20% of the cost of the device on the extended warranty and service fees. Here's how the math works out with these two devices and the cost of their extended warranties and service fees. With the iPad, we have the cost of $329, the extended warranty cost of $69, and the extended warranty accidental damage service fee cost of $49. That extended warranty and accidental damage service fee cost is 36% of the whole device cost. On the other side, we have the iPad Pro, which is $1,649, the extended warranty, which is $129, and the extended warranty accidental damage service fee, which is also $49. The extended warranty and the accidental damage service fee in this situation only comes out to 11%, well below my 20% personal rule of thumb. In this example, for the base model iPad, to get the extended warranty and pay the service fees, you're paying one third the cost of the device. However, for the iPad Pro, the extended warranty and service fees only cost one tenth the cost of the device. Question two, how much does it cost to service the device out of warranty? If you don't have an extended warranty, generally the cost to service the device if it has accidental damage is substantially higher than the cost of a warranty. Here's how the pricing breaks down for these two iPads. With the iPad, the cost of the iPad is $329, and the cost to replace it, if it has accidental damage, is $249. That comes out to 76% of the original cost to replace it. With the iPad Pro, the cost is $1,649, and the out of warranty accidental damage replacement fee is $649. That comes out to 39% of the original cost of the device to replace it. Well, it only costs 39% of the device new to repair the iPad Pro, you still have to consider the fact that that's $649. Compare that to if you had bought an extended warranty and paid the service fee, which would be $178. That's a savings of $471 if you had the warranty. However, both of these prices could not matter to you depending on your answer to question three. Question three, do you take good care of your technology? One of the biggest considerations when deciding if you wanna buy an accidental damage warranty is how often you think you'll need it. Have you never broken a phone or a laptop screen before? Never spilled water on it? Or do you have some kids or maybe some pets running around the house that make accidents almost inevitable? This is a question that's important to consider thoroughly before deciding whether to buy or not to buy the warranty. Some people have trouble looking at this objectively. 
but I'm sure if you ask your friends or family, they'll be very honest as to whether or not you are good with taking care of your technology. Question four, is peace of mind important to you? Sometimes the peace of mind from investing in an extended warranty is worth the cost whether or not you ever need to replace your device. Will you sleep better at night knowing that you saved in between $131 to $471 in case of accident on your iPad? Or do you not care? And if the device gets damaged, you'll happily pay the out of warranty cost and move on with your life. With this question, only you really know the answer. So think about it before you go ahead and purchase an extended warranty. Question five, is the brand or product line reliable? Knowing if a brand or product line is reliable can take some research. I tend to do a combination of YouTube reviews and then going to the websites that sell the product and reading user reviews on there. It's important to pay attention to three and four star reviews on a device as those tend to more fairly represent the pros and cons of a certain item or brand. Some brands have amazing cutting edge products. However, they don't have the manufacturing experience or production quantity to ensure that their devices have minimal defects. In those situations, it's important to consider a warranty for the peace of mind of knowing that if there is an unknown or unexpected defect that happens with the device, you will be covered. In the past five years, I've actually purchased both the iPads I talked about in this video. Here's my iPad Pro. I use these five questions to determine whether or not I should buy the extended warranty that covered accidental damage. I ended up buying the extended warranty that covered accidental damage on the iPad Pro, however, I didn't buy it on the iPad. I realized that the peace of mind of knowing that I could save $471 was worth the initial expense for me. However, with the iPad, I felt comfortable knowing that I took good care of my technology and even if something did happen, it would only cost $249. I hope this video has helped you determine whether or not you should buy a warranty that covers accidental damage. New tech is supposed to make your life less stressful. Let your decision as to whether or not you buy an extended warranty facilitate that.